you all hear me fine? Yeah, good. I'm going to speak in a little bit of a, a deep voice because compliance is a very serious issue. Okay? Uh, or it's uh, perhaps because uh, even though I love my daughter very much, she goes to kindergarten and sometimes she brings uh, back gifts that she bestows on her father and mother that we prefer not to get. Uh, so I have a little bit of a cold today for which I apologize. Um, I thought I'll uh, start by um, um, talking about GE. And I'm not um, here to sell you a fridge or a light bulb. Uh, but in particular in Europe, we don't have a big consumer business. We're more a business-to-business -business, uh, company here in Europe. And it may be worthwhile to just visualize, which is what I want to do, visualize a little bit of what we do. And there are two reasons why I'd like to do that. The first reason is, uh, irrespective of what industry you're active in, the main principles of compliance remain the same. And we're active in a number of areas. So uh, that's the first reason. And the second reason is, if you are active in a number of areas yourself, um, you, uh, you will appreciate that you need to have a common legal culture throughout those business divisions. And that's certainly something that we work with a lot. Um, so I'm just going to give you a couple of snapshots. And, and these are intended to be funny TV ads. Uh, depending on your sense of humor, they're either funny or they're silly, but uh, you, uh, you pick. Okay, let's see if this works. Look at this man, so blessed with inspiration, inspiration. I don't know much, but I know I Customers love GE aircraft engines almost as much as we love making them. Innovation today for America's tomorrow. We make aircraft engines. Making them. Innovation okay. today for America's tomorrow. Let's pick another one. I could while away the hours Confirming with the flowers Consulting with the rain On my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts Were busy hatching if I only had a brain Smart grid technology from GE Will make the way we distribute electricity more efficient Simply by making it more intelligent If I only had a brain Right? <laughs> We make components for the electrical grid. Okay. This one is also pretty funny, I think. Okay, we're going to get going right away. Out of Southern California, he's never met an appendix he couldn't fix. The Dominator, Dr. Paul. Doctors and nurses are true heroes. He puts the rad in radiology. At GE, we're working to give them the innovation, fresh thinking, and advanced technology they need to keep bringing better health to more people. Are you ready, Mr. Randall? Yeah, let's do this! Sorry. All right. So, uh, not to want to sell you any light bulbs um, or anything else. Uh, but that's just a brief introduction of what we do. We do uh, financial services. We're active in a number of industrial areas, energy, transportation, aviation, and so on. Uh, but as I said, it's important to bear in mind that the, the principles of compliance remain the same irrespective of what it is you do, manufacture, or sell. Okay? And I think what Paul said was really a really very important point. What you need to have to ensure compliance or work on compliance in your companies is spirit and letter. Let me explain that. When GE talks about spirit and letter, um, we talk about our high-level compliance integrity policy. Okay? Uh, and it's something for, on which we certainly do never compromise on. Integrity is the way that we do business. It's one, of our, <clears throat> excuse me, it's one of our commercial objectives. 
We don't do business without integrity. And the high-level policy of the spirit and the letter is something that flows summer high here. And in addition to that, we do uh, put in place a number of detailed policies, trainings, and internal communication. So what is this in more detail? Well, if you talk about spirit, you're talking about ethics. If you talk about the letter, it's compliance. Culture, rules, doing the right thing or doing things right. Do you understand the difference? <clears throat> and both of these are equally important. So when you are working on compliance in a company, you're talking about, first and foremost, building a culture of compliance. Because as Paul was saying, you cannot stop the individual actions of a single employee. And the way in which you want to focus your attention, therefore, is to build a culture of compliance in a company that is owned by each and every employee in your organization. Second, another very important point raised by Pal is that this has to rest with each and every employee and it needs to be owned by the top senior management in your company, the CEO, your board. It's nothing that the in-house lawyer is technically responsible for, well he may be, but it's something that your CEO and your board will have to uh, impress upon each and every employee that this is important. So our statement of integrity, <coughs> excuse me, is something that Mr. Immelt himself signs. He says this is important. <coughs> I expect each and every one of you to abide by our compliance rules. So be honest, fair and trustworthy. Avoid all conflicts of interests. Through leadership at all levels, sustain a culture where ethical conduct is recognized, valued, and exemplified by all employees. If you talk about competition compliance specifically, there are three main strands of competition law that we wish to ensure that our employees are aware of to the extent that they deal with issues on a daily basis um, where competition compliance is important. Obviously, they will have more detailed knowledge of these things. But in general, we want to ensure that restrictive agreements, cartel conduct, is avoided at all times. We want to ensure that in those areas in which we might have a strong market position, we ensure that we don't abuse dominance. And second, th sorry, thirdly, because GE is a very ac acquisitive company, we do lots of M&A deals, we want to make sure that we at all times comply with merger control requirements when we establish joint ventures, we acquire companies, or from time to time divest businesses that we own. So, at a high level, we tell our employees what to do, but importantly, what to watch out for. Employees that, deals, that deal with sales, sourcing, or sit on trade associations need to see the red flags. Okay? So what is it we, we expect from our employees in our company? We expect them first and foremost <coughs> to understand our policies and to raise concerns, and to raise those concerns very promptly. So, you raise your concerns early. You can remain anonymous if you want to. Your confidentiality, sorry, confidentiality will be respected. And very clear message that retaliation against people, employees, colleagues who raise compliance concerns within GE, retaliation against such employees is a violation of company policy. Now, you need to build communication structures internally um, so that these concerns or perceived concerns can be raised quickly and effectively. You can do it with a compliance person or an auditor. You can go to me, for instance, company legal counsel, or all of my legal colleagues. You can go to the next level of management, or you can go to an ombuds, uh, ombudsman within the company. <clears throat> if you want to, you can even go up to our board of directors. They expect you to do it. So what is it we do if we uh, have a compliance concern raised within our company? We assign an investigation team, and we conduct an investigation, and we're blessed with having colleagues that are lawyers, former prosecutors, regulators, who will be on those investigation teams. We take corrective action if we need to, if there is a real issue, and we provide feedback to those people who raise these integrity concerns. <clears throat> 